Whether you're studying for a test or you just want to learn about vitamin B6, in the next five minutes, I will go over everything you need to know about vitamin B6, a pyridoxine. Let's go. Vitamin B6, a water-soluble B vitamin, can exist in one of three forms, with pyridoxine being the most common form. Like most B vitamins, it can be found in the majority of the food we eat, especially in meat, organs, seeds, bananas, and dark chocolate. Once absorbed, our body converts vitamin B6 into one of two active metabolites depending on which form of B6 it is. Pyridoxine gets converted into pyridoxal phosphate, or PLP, while pyridoxamine gets converted into pyridoxamine phosphate, or PMP. Both are very similar, so knowing PLP is enough. Like most B vitamins, PLP acts as a coenzyme for a bunch of enzymes in a wide array of metabolic pathways. PLP is required for transaminases to work, both AST and ALT, along with other reactions you see on the screen here. PLP is also required for a body to synthesize neurotransmitters and hormones in our body, such as serotonin and dopamine, just to name a few. PLP is required for the conversion of tryptophan into niacin, which is vitamin B3. And most importantly for students, PLP is required for the synthesis of heme, which is responsible for our red blood cells to carry oxygen. As you can see in the diagram, PLP is a coenzyme for the enzyme delta ALA synthetase in the first step of heme synthesis pathway. Deficiency in B6 is very rare as it can be found in so many different foods and its RDA is pretty low. However, there are some important causes for paradoxing deficiency, starting with the most important, which is the concurrent usage of isoniazid therapy. Isoniazid is a drug commonly used in the treatment of tuberculosis, and it can both inhibit and decrease the synthesis of PLP. Therefore, anyone that's taking isoniazid therapy must also be placed on a strict B6 supplementation regimen. The usage of OCPs or oral contraceptives and alcoholism are also causes of vitamin B6 deficiency, although the likelihood is pretty low. Other causes of B6 deficiency can be chronic kidney disease, as well as autoimmune diseases affecting your gastrointestinal tract, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis, or UC. The hallmark symptom of B6 deficiency is sideroblastic anemia, a type of microcytic, or small cells, hypochromic, or pale cells, anemia in which you can get small, pale, immature red blood cells with rings of excess iron in the cytoplasm of the cell. We call these red blood cells ring sideroblasts. Other, less specific consequences of B6 deficiency include peripheral neuropathy, inflammation of the mouth, chelosis or stomatitis, and inflammation of the skin, such as dermatitis, as well as immune deficiency. Supplementation of B6 is generally not required unless, of course, you are diagnosed with sideroblastic anemia due to B6 deficiency, in which case it is used as treatment. It has been found that B6 supplementation can be useful for controlling menstruation cramps and morning sickness in pregnant women. Other potential benefits such as cardiovascular protection, the slowing of the progression of Alzheimer's disease, as well as protection against colorectal cancer are still being studied. Like other water-soluble vitamins, B6 toxicity is extremely rare as our kidney is able to excrete excess B6 in our urine. However, in rare cases, excess B6 can cause neurological damage. There are a few drug interactions when it comes to B6, all of which have their effectiveness lowered by B6. These drugs include levodopa, which is used to treat Parkinson's disease, as well as seizure medications such as phenytoin and barbiturates. If you like this video, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my other social media platforms.